when somebody buys something from you or even opts into a freebie, when you've got in your courses area, basically if you've hosted anything in your courses area, one of the things that I do just to absolutely make sure that they're gonna get access to it is inside the workflow is make sure that we add an action called grant access. So this is mm. basically a double up way of just double making sure that when I do log into your platform, it's definitely given me access. Now, of course, there's always gonna be your odd error, but let me show you what I mean. So in our courses area, let's go down to courses and memberships. It doesn't matter whether we've instead, you know, as a course, it's a PDF document, or if it's a whole massive program, or if it's a membership of stuff bundled together, this all works exactly the same. But basically what we're doing here is inside our product builder, we've added these courses. I'm just going to go into automated workflows right now. So we're going to imagine we've uploaded some courses or whatever it is that we're selling into the courses area. For every product, for every thing you sell, I highly recommend you have a workflow for each thing that you sell. This is going to enable you to make sure you press add a tag. This person has purchased or opted into this thing. It just enables you to manage everything that is purchased by someone. But let's go in. I'm going to press start from scratch and just show you a couple of the things that I always add. And in particular, if it's a course, this grant access element that we're talking about. So I move our heads over to the left here. Let's make this a little bit bigger so that you guys can see it more clearly. But the trigger would be, for instance, they have bought, let's do this specifically for a course. We're gonna type in the word new and we're gonna find under courses, a new sign up. Let's click on that. And then you need to tell the system a new sign up for what? So we use the filters option to say to the system, a new sign up for the offer, because remember the checkout in courses is called offers. And what offer? It was this particular course all right so maybe it was the astrology course that they've purchased so we're saying to the system and we can change this label on here a new sign up for astrology course this is our label on our workflow we've used the filters to say which course so here we go that's the trigger that's going to fire off this workflow i always tag first so our next action we're going to type in tag add a contact tag and i might type in here signed up for astrology course okay that's a little tag let's press add a new tag and save so now we've got our signed up tag now we want to grant them access to this course just in case they do get a blank in that here's your login details section so i'm going to press add another action and up here type in grant and here you will see grant offer course grant offer this means you're granting access to a course so let's click on it and the system will say which course so that's type in astrology course there it is we're going to grant them access this means that when they go in they're definitely going to have been given access automatically to that course now the other thing you may have seen on there when i did press grant access let me just show you something else under grant access there is an option here to grant group access this means if you've created a community inside the community section you can also automatically grant them access to your community as well so if i was to press that grant group access it will say what group and there's my techmatic support group for instance save so now we've got that automatic grant access now what we were talking about with how do you send them their automated logins this is where inside the ad we might want to send them this email saying here's your login information by the way you can do this in a pretty version in your email builder but i'm just going to type in let's send them now an email okay let's send an email and in this email i can go hi and then we're going to put in their automated fields so this label looking thing here, when we hover over it, it says custom values, we're gonna type in contact first name. You see this little code comes up, but that's gonna pre-fill their first name. Here is access to your astrology course. And this is where we might put in your user email, semicolon, password, okay? And oh, we might even put in the login URL. Log in here. Now, so they're, they're the three things I'd put in first. Now put your cursor next to login here. 
and underneath custom values, click on custom values, go to course, and then new sign up, and you want to send them their login URL. That magic link will basically automatically send them straight to their personal login page. So underneath user email, custom values, we're still inside that courses area, but I'm going to go back to the beginning just to show you course, new sign up, email. And we don't even need the password anymore because when they go to that login, it gives them the option to change their password themselves. So we don't even need to pop that in there. So there you go. Hi, contact first name. Here's access to astrology course, login, course, magic URL, user email, course, user email. If you have any trouble, let me know. Now, the other thing I'm going to now suggest you pop in here is instructions for them to access your mobile app because you all automatically have one, even if you haven't done anything. Let me just stop sharing my screen for one second to show you this. So whether you use an Android or an Apple, and this is for your students and for you, you can go into your app store. So any app store, I use an Android phone, so I'm using the Google Play app you're going to direct people to download the app called Collab. It looks like this. Okay, you don't have to have done anything for this to exist for your students right away. You're going to tell your students, please go to your app store and download the Collab app. Okay, they're going to press download. And then you're simply going to say, and now log in with your login details above and you'll be able to watch my courses on the go. All right, so that's just going to be the final set of instructions that we pop in there. And if you like to watch your courses on the go, simply log in to the Collab app from your app store using the login details above. Yay! Okay, that's all you're going to pop. Save. That's the only instructions you need to give to your students to access your courses on the go.